Daenerys of House Targaryen, the first of her name, Queen of the Andals, and total badass. Hey guys, I'm Rebecca from Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 badass Daenerys Targaryen moments. You stand in the presence of Daenerys Stormborn of House Targaryen, rightful heir to the Iron Throne, rightful Queen of the Andals and the First Men, protector of the Seven Kingdoms, the mother of dragons, the Khaleesi of the Great Grass Sea, the Unburnt, the breaker of chains. Before we begin, we publish new content every day. So be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. That means we're looking at the fieriest, bravest, cleverest, and all around boss moments from the Mother of Dragons. We are looking at moments from season one all the way through the penultimate season though. So beware of spoilers. All right, let's get to it. Should we begin? Number 10, walking into a burning funeral pyre. I know what you intend. Do not. I must. When we first meet Daenerys, she's meek and unsure, living under the thumb of her abusive older brother. Having grown up begging in the free cities, she has no real sense of her place in the world. Her marriage to Khal Drogo starts off as a nightmare, but with her new position as Khaleesi, her confidence begins to grow. And after Drogo's death, she's finally certain about who she is. Walking into his funeral pyre, she's finally confident and in control of her choices, even though others may doubt. When she emerges from the flames with three newly hatched dragons, it's awesome proof to her followers that there's much more to her than meets the eye. Number 9. Break the Wheel I know what my father was. What he did. I know the Mad King earned his name. Daenerys and Tyrion make a fearsome team. But although Tyrion is good at the game, Daenerys prefers to forge her own path. A conqueror with a winning streak under her belt, she has ambitious plans and it's not just to maintain the status quo. She doesn't want to just win the game. She's going to throw the game out and start again with new rules. Lannister, Targaryen, Baratheon, Stark, Tyrell. They're all just spokes on a wheel. This one's on top, then that one's on top, and on and on it spins, crushing those on the ground. This scene proves that she's unlike anyone else contending for the Iron Throne. While they fight on the ground, she's got a dragon's eye view of the wider landscape. Her ambition is sky high and her self-assurance intoxicating, which these six little words demonstrated perfectly. It's a beautiful dream, stopping the wheel. You're not the first person who's ever dreamt it. I'm not going to stop the wheel. I'm going to break the wheel. Number 8. Burning the Warlock Welcome home, Daenerys Stormborn. This is not my home. My home is across the sea where my people are waiting for me. They will be waiting a long time. The illusions in the House of the Undying tested Daenerys' resolve in every way. But when it comes to saving her dragons and continuing her quest, nothing can distract her, not even an illusion of Caldrogo. When she does find her little lizard children, the blue-lipped wizard Pyat Pri seems to have the upper hand. It's a tight spot, but Daenerys remains unflappable, knowing that she's got fire on her side. Dracarys. At the word Dracarys, her baby dragons turn the creep to a crisp, all without Danny breaking a sweat. Number 7. Misa. Who will come, Your Grace? When they're ready. Perhaps they didn't want to be conquered. You didn't conquer them. You liberated them. When Daenerys arrives in Slaver's Bay, she's disgusted by the master's treatment of their slaves. So in Yunkai, she decides to overthrow them, taking over the city and giving the slaves their freedom. As the newly freed people gather before her, they begin to call out Misa, the Giscardi word for mother. It's a moment made all the more meaningful by the fact that Daenerys is sure that she can't have children of her own. As she wanders out into the crowd, her new people lift her up in their arms. We've seen others rule with fear, but by commanding with compassion, Daenerys inspires true devotion in her followers. Number 6. Burning the Cowls In both Westeros and Essos, it's very much a man's world. 
as the widow of Akal. Daenerys was supposed to act like a widow, return to Vice Dothrak, and join the Temple of Dushkalin. As she disobeyed this law, Kals and Nikalar Vejvan claim that they'll decide what to do with her. But Danny is having none of it. Only she decides her fate. <laughs> Tipping the braziers one by one, she torches the cows. This is Daenerys at her most confident yet. Her deepening smile proof that she was in control even when she seemed cornered. Number 5. Her first time riding a dragon After Daenerys grudgingly reopens Daznak's pit, the Sons of the Harpy see their chance to strike. Drogon has been MIA for a while now, last sighted flying over the Valyrian Peninsula. But just in the nick of time, he lands in the arena to defend Danny. To get him out of harm's way, Daenerys climbs onto his back and takes to the sky, just like her ancestors once did. The moment between her and her dragon is touching, and the initially unsure but then resolute climb onto Drogon's back as the music swells is a defining moment in her character. Number 4. The Battle of Marine. Your reign is over. My reign has just begun. With Marine under attack, Daenerys meets with the masters of Slaver's Bay. They begin to set strict terms of surrender when Daenerys stops to correct them. Their condescension disappears when Drogon flies in right on cue. All the masters can do is watch as Drogon, Rhaegal, and Viserion burn ships to ash, while on the ground, Dario and the Dothraki finish off the Sons of the Harpy. During her climb from the bottom to the top, Daenerys has learned how to bring together forces from different backgrounds, from dragons to Dothraki to the Unsullied. And that is exactly what makes her such a force to be reckoned with here. When they come forward with notions of retribution or ideas about returning the slave cities to their former glory, remind them what happened when Daenerys Stormborn and her dragons came to Marine. Number 3. Burning Krasnus, the Breaker of Chains Dovagedis! As a young woman, Danny is often underestimated. It's a mistake that few men make twice. After enduring the insults of Astapor slave trader Krasnus in silence, she surprises him with her ability to speak and understand Valyrian, and with a deal of her own. Well, Valar Morghulis, jerk! Zadrizes buzdaris kosdaor. Coming early in Season 3, this moment sets the tone for her wider character arc and proves that she has a lot more cunning than anyone gives her credit for. We've seen her overcome physical hardships, but here we got to see just how calculating she could be as well. Dracarys. Number 2. Beyond the Wall Your Grace, everyone you know will die before winter's over if we don't defeat the enemy to the north. As far as I can see, you are the enemy to the north. I am not your enemy. Daenerys Targaryen and Jon Snow don't see eye to eye at their first meeting. Jon is suspicious that he's just like all the others vying for the Iron Throne, and she assumes that his refusal to bend the knee shows that he's hard-headed. But when Jon undertakes a dangerous mission beyond the Wall in a last-ditch effort to convince the South of the White Walker threat, it's Danny to the rescue. For this, she earns Jon's respect and loyalty, but loses a dragon. It is a devastating moment, but proves once again what she's willing to do to protect the realm and those dear to her. I wish we'd never gone. I don't. If we hadn't gone, I wouldn't have seen. You have to see it to know. Now I know. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. Oh, 
No more reaving, roving, raiding, or raping. That's our way of life. No more. Number one, burning Jamie's army. We can hold them off. Before Robert's rebellion overthrew House Targaryen, dragons had not been seen in the Seven Kingdoms for almost a century and a half. When Daenerys reveals Drogon to the Lannister forces, she does so in the most badass manner possible. <laughs> Jamie's look of incredulity and awe is completely justified. Not only is she riding a dragon into battle, she's done the impossible twice by bringing a huge Dothraki army across the narrow sea to Westeros. As she turns his army to ash, she really is unstoppable, and every inch a queen. Man, now I want a dragon. Anyway, be sure to tell us your favorite Danny moments in the comments, like, subscribe, and check out this handy Game of Thrones playlist so you can binge watch Game of Thrones content like it's your full-time job. It kind of